Okay, day six. Day five was a write off. GoPro ran out of batteries, I suspect, because of the cold. It was bad, it was worse down a bite, yeah, so far. Um, raining, snowing, high of four, low of one. But the weather system's meant to pass today, at least it's not raining now, which is a real good sign. Got a big push today from Holland Lake. Um, expectations were high, but I think we're gonna have to pull them back. If we can get to Ovando, we're gonna have to be happy with that. Life's good. Life's good, mate. Okay, so I have another problem. <laughs> my front fork, my louth, the glass fins have gone real spongy. I think I've shagged them. I can bottom them out so easy. I um, normally carry this sort of weight, but I think I've just shagged them. A little bit worried, worried about it. I think I'm going to take a lot of this stuff off when I get to the top of this pass and put it in my backpack. I'm going to call a bike shop in Helena when I get to Ovando. That's life on the tour, man. It's hard on the gear. This bike's been solid up until now. That there. So that there is a big ass grizzly footprint. It's good, eh? Really? All right. So Anthony, what did you just see, bro? I just seen a big mountain lion. About on the corner of as far away as that corner is. And he disappeared into the woods on the left hand side. He was big, probably that sort of high, I guess. Damn. Looked, looked just like a lion. And these things, they generally don't generally don't go inside. They don't really just go away either, do they? No, they kind of follow you for a bit, so. Crazy Larry. You come across Crazy Larry. I do. Crazy Larry said we need to go ape shit at them and throw stones at them. Yeah. And to be honest, everyone knows the video that's on YouTube with a guy getting followed by oh, a we mama. Chasing him. Paws up. Yeah. Yeah. He ended up throwing stones, right? Yeah. So, but we are just a bit wary. We're just going to keep an eye on behind us now. You do the exact opposite that you do with a grizzly. Yeah. <laughs> you do that with a grizzly or rip your chase off. Yeah, right. There's a long way down there. Be careful, young fella. This is pretty, like, this is pretty stunning. There's no wind. We're not, it's not too cold. His feet are cold, but. Very lucky, mate. Very, very lucky to be here. So now and then you get these little reminders that you're still in bear country and we're in Montana so we're in mountain lion country 
which I think it was what was that fella's name you're riding with yesterday, Andrew? Richard. 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 From okay. Washington State. So Richard from Washington State, good dude. He came over Meadow Meadow Red, Lake Pass. Meadow. Red Meadow Pass the other night, like during the night, got to Whitefish wherever it was at 5.30 in the morning. So he was over there in the middle of the night saw three mountain lions <laughs> in front of him he reckon it might have been a mother with two cubs but he said, I was like, how big was she? he said, she was the size of him with the Tour Divide. They're a little town that like Tour Divide riders. And they turn it on for us every year. But let's just hope they're still open because it's six o'clock. I had to shag around with um, ordering a new fork for my bike, which is incredibly disappointing. It's gonna cost a fortune. <laughs> We're just doing a filming our donut stop. What do you say? Is it appropriate for police to be eating donuts? Well, I have to do take two. Well, it's appropriate. <laughs> I've just eaten that one. So now I'm eating another one. Sticking with the stereotype. <coughs> we um, just discovered these small donuts at Ovando. These ones have got powder on them. You can get these other sugary, buttery ones. <sighs> donuts, mate. They're just power for the legs. Um, uh, heading over Huckleberry Pass into Lincoln which sounds like a big place but it is not hopefully we've got some accommodation there because it's better than sleeping in tents So we just rode into Lincoln. We couldn't find anywhere to sleep. Anywhere to sleep. All the motels were booked out. We ended up just riding over to this hotel and went in because the door was open and tried to ring the phone. Anyways, this lady comes over. She's the nicest person ever. She says, yeah, we've got a room for you, it's all good. It's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> 